Hello and welcome to Vault Holocron, where today I will explain the Arcona. The Arcona are the humanoid species from the planet Kona. Arconas had large triangular heads, a pair of big eyes which could be purple, gold or yellow, three or four fingered hands, and skin which could be blue, brown or green. They lived in family-based communities and were well known for their addiction to regular soul. They spoke Arcanese. The planet Kona was a desert planet in the inner rim and is where the Arcona species originate from. Now I will explain notable canon Arcona. First up is Adlaba, a dealer who worked with Monigal, a Kubaz. The pair of them were invited to a summit on Kijimi by Zeva Bliss of the Spice Runners of Kijimi. Bliss intended to kill them, but was stopped by Poe Dameron. Adlaba and Monigal escaped. Next is Boggs Triff, a male mobster. IG-88 was hired to kill Triff on Narshadar. Now for Rig Brosnar, a male pirate part of Sidon of Farna's crew. Fifty years after the end of the Clone Wars, an emergency broadcast was transmitted by the Confederacy of Independent Systems cruiser Obrexta Free on the planet Ponmar Terminal. The crew believed that this ship may contain the treasure of Count Dooku. The crew travelled in their sail barge, Shrike, through the Sea of Sands, a dangerous area of Ponmar Terminal, in which 15 meter waves of caustic sand constantly travelled, lava geysers were dotted around, and an iron storm was always present. This was where Obrexta 3 was. Before they reached Obrexta 3, a large sandstorm which threatened to destroy the sail barge came in. They loaded a kinetic disruptor missile into the barge's torpedo system. This kinetic disruptor, when detonated, would freeze the sandstorm. They fired the kinetic disruptor, but were shot at with cannons by Scorza, a weakway pirate. This attack knocked Rieg Brosnar off of the sail barge and into the sand, where he was quickly swept away. Next up is Hem Dazon a grouchy male scout stranded on Tatooine. He became stranded due to spending all of his credits on jury juice and soul. He spent a lot of time in Chowman's Spaceport Cantina in the Moss Eisley Spaceport. He was present in the cantina for the events shown in A New Hope. Next is El Les, a male bounty hunter hired by the Galactic Republic as a drill instructor for clone troopers. He worked with the mercenary Brig to train groups of clone cadets, such as the Domino Squad. Now for Faddy, a male spy who worked for Vossa, a Chadra fan. Vossa sent him undercover in the Daystar Hotel, so he could steal secret plans from a Wookiee agent. Next up is Gama, a female which lived on the Colossus, a mobile aircraft refueling station on Castillon, an ocean planet during the time of the New Republic. Next is Kuru, a male swoop racer. A swoop racer was someone who raced on swoop bikes, repulsor lift vehicles designed for speed. Swoop bikes were more dangerous than speeders, being described as an engine with a seat. During the Ryan swoop, a swoop race held on Ryan that marked the start of Zero ABY, Kuru met Han Solo, who was also competing. Kuru worked with other racers to try and sabotage Solo and turn him over to the Empire as a bounty. However, using help from Luke Skywalker, Han Solo won the race and Kuru's plan failed. Now for Torquil Mux, a pilot. Next up is Isel Pre, a male racer which represented Kona at the 48th annual Dragonfire Air Rally, which took place on Coruscant. Next is Smi Mom, a female operative in A-List Onward's security team on Karelia during the time of the High Republic era. At some point in time, the crew were protecting the Supreme Chancellor of the Galactic Republic, Lena Saw, 
when she visited Coronet City. Smeemon was the leader of Tunnel Team 12, a part of the security patrolling Coronet City's underbelly. When the Nihil, mercenaries during the High Republic era, released scav droids, Smeemon found one and destroyed it. Now for Snaith, a bar patron on the astronomical object, Nuri Senti, during the High Republic era. Next up is Unidentified Bounty Hunter, a male bounty hunter during the Imperial era. He tried to claim the bounty on the bounty hunter, Billa Valence, who broke the bounty hunter code through stealing bounties from other bounty hunters. The Unidentified Bounty Hunter found Valence on the Spur Orbiting Market space station and fought him. He was winning initially, because Valence's Palm Blaster was recharging. However, Cadelia, Valence's ward, threw cooking gel on him, and so when Valence's Blaster had recharged, the unidentified bounty hunter was burned to death. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and bye.